Hey everybody, quick question, have you ever considered, like, the food chain really? Well, I noticed that there's a lot of vegan beef, fresh plant-based products on TV, commercials on TV. So, have you ever considered about, like, us hunters, like me, keeping the population in check. So maybe you should consider the food chain, you know, because we got to keep populations in check. Otherwise, the food chain will go out of balance. I mean, there's nothing wrong with plant-based stuff, but you kind of got to consider the, you know, the population being controlled. Otherwise, we'd have disease and then that population would die off probably completely and then everything being destroyed. As you can see, I have a deer head on my wall back here. That one. I know some all you vegans out there. I mean, it may look like I'm a murderer to you, you guys, but I'm actually not. Okay, I keep the population in check. That is how come, like, the food chain hasn't gone out of whack yet. And, to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with you guys vegans. Just, you kind of got to consider this stuff. I mean, you got to think about it. You know, what would the world be like if we didn't keep the population in balance? I mean, you got to be honest here. We'd all be dead. All, hu all of humanity as a whole would probably be dead, you know, especially if we didn't fish, keep the populations in control in the oceans, even though, you know, you gotta be honest here. Poaching for elephant ivory, that is bad. I mean, you gotta think about it. Elephants are kind of like a part of the food chain, you know, the keep they keep the pop the population in Africa in control and the same thing with rhinos and sharks I mean you gotta think about this all of humanity has to think about this but I know it may sound like I'm not cool with vegans but I kind I'm kind of understand the point you're trying to come from guys but I do have a few favorites, so I'm not going to lie. Besides, I don't know all of the vegans in the world. I mean, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and Dahani Harrison, you both, all of you, and Dahani, yes, your dad, are cool in my book. You guys are kind of pretty much my preferred favorites. Besides, I don't really know the rest of the po vegan population. But well, you kind of got to think about this. I mean, we'd all be toast if we didn't keep the populations in check. Because then the food chain would go out of whack. And we know how the dinosaurs went out. You know, the asteroid. Blocking out the sun and the plants disappeared. And then the carnivores food, the herbivores disappeared. As you can see, the asteroid wiped the pop dinosaurs out. So, I mean, the thing about not keeping the populations in control being the asteroid and us omnivores and the carnivores that eat the herbivores, like, then we, then the, then we die. Okay, just... I know that may sound a little dramatic, but I mean, kind of it's kind of the same thing going on with both here in the twenty first century and like what millions of years ago when the dinosaurs existed. I mean, you got to be honest; it's kind of a little, a little bit in common. No, I know I look a little like I just. Got soaked in some rain. I just got out of the shower. And this kind of occurred to me while I was in the shower. So, so that explains my wet hair.
Well, as Rinko Star says, peace and love.